Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Intensity. We're kicking things off with Archer Mosley taking on Dex Freaking Wit. Welcome back, everyone. We're returning to our opening matchup. Archer Mosley taking on Dex Witt. The last time we saw Archer Mosley was the Quest for Gold, the Golden Ticket ladder match. The winner, of course, was King Neon, that five-man ladder match. King Neon is going to go and take on Cody Cole and Damian Kai in a World Heavyweight Championship triple threat match in the main event at Quest for Gold. Archer Mosley talked a big game before the Golden Ticket ladder match, but inevitably was unable to get the victory. Why are you wearing crap? You little, you little doodad. Where's all your paint? Where's your mama's makeup? Yeah, have a it up, I am him. I hope you know that. You are him? Oh, I am. What, what's the record saying again? The record said it, it two wins? Two wins? Back to be three, baby. Back to be three, baby. I am him. I am him. Woo! Yeah. Go get your bird, man. Dex Witt questioning why Archer Mosley chose to go with no face paint here for his bout against Dex Witt tonight. Last time we saw Archer Mosley in singles action, I believe, was that match against Ghost at the pit where those two men tore it down for number one contendership for Tyler N's Intensity Championship. You suck dicks. You suck dicks. Archer was unable to come out on top in that matchup. Both men were bruised, battered, and beaten to a bloody pulp, but Ghost was able to come out on top, and he's going to be taking on Tyler N at Quest for Gold. Archer Mosley, however, does not have a match scheduled for Quest for Gold yet. Dex Witt talking his trash. Swing gets blocked by Archer, and a huge right hand. Raining down upon Dex freaking wit. You heard Dex earlier saying, I am him, I'm next. About to be three wins. Right now getting beaten down by Archer Mosley. Archer started off red hot in AWE this year. He went to long way down after uh, being victorious throughout the the Intensity Championship Tournament to crown the new Intensity Champion after Nick Bo was forced to vacate his title due to injury. But after that, Archer with a huge Claymore! That could put it away. After Archer's red hot start, he has seemingly cooled off here and come back down to earth, but still a wide margin of of talent between these two and Archer Tombstone Pile Good Driver. Dex is going to count the lights. Shouldn't have talked all that smack to the referee with a quick count there. Getting his revenge on Dex. Watch this. Claymore. Not a ton of highlights from this match. It was over in a matter of minutes. That tombstone sealing the deal. And I think even with a slow count... Dex wouldn't have kicked out. Come on, OJSIV. I thought you said you were going to give me. I thought you were going to give me good talent. Come on now. This is pathetic talent. 
I'm all that. But, uh, orange juice. This man's up. And a super kick from Archer to shut Dex up once and for all. Just another day at the office. Can you give me this pathetic piece of shit? For Archer Mosley. And of course our main event later tonight, ladies and gentlemen, King Neon, who has not lost since returning, will be taking on the intensity champion, Tyler End. King Neon, of course, slated for that triple threat main event for the World Heavyweight Championship at Quest for Gold after winning the Golden Ticket Ladder match. All five men in this match, be it Christopher El Contrasto, Logan Light, Archer Mosley, and King Neon, all five men put their bodies on the line. You see that beautiful Hurricane Rana into the Claymore there. These five men had each other's numbers all night long. That match went about... I'd say 23 minutes probably in total, and man, what a 23 minutes it was. These guys were flying around, hitting impactful move after impactful move. You see the lights out there, big full Nelson slam. In the end, however, it was King Neon who was victorious. After all the smoke cleared, everyone was below the rubble except for the king of AWE. King Neon is going to go, and he's going to take on Cody Cole and Damian Kai for the World Heavyweight Championship at Quest for Gold. If Cody Cole loses, OJSIV has said he will be suspended for three months without pay, and Damian Kai, if he loses, he's leaving AWE. Oh, yeah. And before his main event match tonight against our intensity champion, King Neon, with his unblemished record, is going to address the fans of AWE. King Neon clearly on top of the world. Love you too. I will welcome you. You can stay in my palace. Yes. King Neon has not been on this kind of a roll since back in year one after he defeated Henry Mack our first ever world champion for his title at the first ever Odyssey pay-per-view, the first ever pay-per-view in AWE history. Hi, guys. Hola! Hola, Oh. I love you, too. Please don't copyright this. <laughs> Ah, oh, it's nothing like a king, a good king to get a laugh in, you know? Queen Elizabeth! <laughs> Queen Elizabeth! That's where I learned, that's where I learned from the, I learned from the best. I learned from the best. R.I.P. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Uh, whatever the, the next one in line is, is it Harry? Prince Harry? Uh, Charles, 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 don't mess it up. I mean, you're already kind of messing up, but. Chubby fingers. Chubby fingers. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, my king, sorry. It's okay, it's okay. That's okay. All right. Now, you know, I feel good. I feel good. Um, I don't remember who was in the ladder match. They're probably irrelevant people. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All of them are welcome in my kingdom. Except for whoever kicked me off the ladder, I think it was D4 or something, or something like that, or Elcon, or <laughs> I don't know, some yeah, whoever skinny. Yeah, I I don't know. I don't. Know. I think they should have a match, but that's just my opinion. Um, man, triple threat between the greats. I mean, the greatest of all time. Yeah, you are. Yeah. yeah. Why are they I think it's like Jasmine or something. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. you're a yeah. Yes, yes. Um, you got 
Cody Cole, second greatest of all time, in my opinion. Uh, okay, okay, all right, okay. Yeah, I prefer King Neo, he's my favorite. Bro, in my opinion, Cody Cole is the future. Looking to, looking for the best in the ring with you, buddy. Uh, what's the Damien Kai? All the disrespect my key. What did he? What did he do? Can someone tell me? Like, why is he in the match? What did he do? Nothing, my key. Nothing. Mm. So two goats. One, one king. One king. That's also a go. So you know, two for two right now. Got a former champion. So a three for three. You got now a champion. He's two for two. Man, he's on a roll. You have the first ever Grand Slam champion. Yeah. I mean, whoa, whoa. Yeah. And you have Damian Kai. Oh. Oof. <laughs> Disappointment. Disappointment. There's nothing like a disappointed king. But hey, buddy. We'll get there eventually. I doubt it, my king! Get him some of that key! <laughs> or maybe, or maybe you'll leave before you get there. Whoa! Hey! Whoa! Hey! Okay. So let's talk business. You guys want to come out? Then. My ring is yours. My kingdom oh. is yours. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 And it's the king challenge! Oh. 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 Okay, that's enough of my time. Um, see you guys when I see you guys. My champion is coming back to the king. And then, you know, I think, I think after that, <laughs> I'll be the future. And then, yeah. I'm four for four. Now, I still might not be a Grand Slam champion. Maybe I'll be a Grand Slam champion and hold all the champions at the same time. Oh, yeah. Oh, Guys, no, I'm the best tag team championship around. Uh, those, uh, those vatos. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that, that, is, that is still uh, holding the championship. Yeah, I'm very cultured. Um, you have, uh, what's his name? Elcon, yeah. Um, you have, I don't know, Toothless. Yeah, Toothless Aggression. Uh, oh, yeah! Woo! Well, the king loves you. King loves each and every one of you. And I'll see you guys later. Give us your King hand. Neon Give is ready hand. for the fight ahead. Can King Neon remain undefeated since his return at the pit? And more importantly, can he become the first ever two-time AWE World Heavyweight Champion? Coming up right now, it's El Contrastico. Christopher and Logan Light going to duke it out in a triple threat number one contenders match for Dalton Reigns next level championship. All three men impressed Ozzy Jameson, Sinclair, IV, the next level general manager with their performances. Yeah, I may have lost. Go ahead, take it lighter, man, But you know what I'm doing today? You're winning this. I'm winning this, motherfucker. And I'm going to beat Dalton Rain and prove that he is, in fact, imperfect as a. Yeah. Dalton Rain, our next level champion, of course, likes to say he's perfect. El Contrastico confident. And he's been on a bit of a streak here. You know, it began a couple of months ago. He was putting on banger after banger with guys. 
uh, and just and just really, you know, given uh, top notch guys run runs for their money, you know, like Ghost, like Archer Mosley, he was losing those matches, but in his qualifying match against his tag team partner Matt Mayhem, he actually picked up an upset over the highly ranked uh, performer that is Matt Mayhem, and he went to the quest the he went to the golden ticket ladder match, excuse me, you know, trying to earn an opportunity at the world championship at Quest for Gold. And he put on a show, to say the least, but, you know, himself, just like this man, just like Christopher, just like Archer, all four men were unable to win on that night. But that doesn't mean the mission was a complete failure. These three men right here have earned the right to compete for number one contendership for Dalton Reigns next level championship. Perfection and luck is not the same thing. Perfection means you're perfect all the time, Dalton. At the pit, you were just lucky. Logan Light. Saying Dalton Rain got lucky at the pit. I, you know, I commentated that match. I was, I was in attendance on that night. What a match that was. I, I don't know if I agree with Logan. However, as much as I hate Dalton Rain, Dalton Rain was able in the end to pull out a really convincing really convincing victory over Logan Light. And you know, Logan Light has already challenged Dalton Rain for his next level championship. Christopher has not. El Contrastico has not. Uh, Dex Witt actually had a little impromptu next level championship match and he got squashed uh, last week. Speak of the devil, there's Dex Witt after getting his ass handed to him earlier by Archer Mosley. The Heathen King Christopher coming out here, a chip on his shoulder. And if there's one man that I feel in this three-way matchup has the aggression, has the determination to take out Dalton Reign, take that next level championship, it's got to be Christopher. No weapons allowed. No weapons. You right. beat that ginger asshole out of this match. You beat your ginger asshole out of the match. Hey, it's going nowhere, Tony. You beat your toothless dinosaur out of the match. It's going nowhere, is he? On Jesus. This name is not. Yeah. Right. El Contrasco, of course, saying that tag team championship is going nowhere tonight, and it will not. Ladies and gentlemen, I forgot to mention earlier that Ozzy Jameson Sinclair IV uh, stipulated that this triple threat, since it is for number one contendership for the next level championship, it will have no weapons allowed. There will be disqualification. And you see the referee wearing the striped shirt, signifying that this is indeed a next level rules match. And maybe now Elkon can finally get some offense in. Goes for a Hurricane Rana. Logan Light pulls him up. Logan vaulting El Contrastico into Christopher. Elkon with a chop. Snap Mare out of the corner. El Contrastico could be looking for offense, but Logan was, and he ate a big-time lariat from the Heathen King. El Contrastico wants absolutely no part of that, and I don't blame him trying to escape. Little cat and mouse kick to the head. Christopher was in pursuit. Oh, and a modified skull bow there. Oh, and Logan Light plancha over the top rope. Look at the big man go flying here at the war zone in this match at a breakneck speed already. Speaking of breakneck, he just 
through the head of Christopher right against that squared off ring post. Christopher gets rolled back in the ring. And Dex and Matt, you know, Beans at the top and we are next. A storied rivalry still ongoing, mind you. And look at Christopher, the power! Almost dumping Logan Light right on his noggin. Elkon saying, let's get him, trying to make a truce for the time being. Christopher isn't going to have any of that. And Christopher gets a chop block from Logan Light. Uh, the referee saying that the shoe is a weapon there, and I think Christopher making the argument that if it's on his foot, it's not a weapon. And so what's the difference there? It's part of his attire, you know? To some extent, I agree. But I guess that'd be like if Elkon took his chain off and used it to choke someone out. Logan Light with a leg. DDT! El Contrastico doesn't take kindly. Said that one was for Matt right there. Logan Light saw Matt Mayhem at ringside and said he wanted to hit a leg DDT. El Contrasco saying, that is my partner. That's my uh, supposed lover. You know, we've had a commentator say that. It wasn't me. And look at the standing moonsault from the Luchador. Hook of the outside leg. One, two, and Logan just in the nick of time. Able to break up that pin. El Contrasco finds himself with momentum here in this match. And he... <laughs> And he, and he teabags Christopher. Irish whip. A clothesline decapitating El Contrastico. Logan Light on the move here in this match. Doing some leg work, if you will. Just hammering away at the knee of El Contrasco, knowing that if he can take away that foundation, the explosiveness from the Luchador. And El Contrastico doesn't have a lot to bring this match. Big drop kick there. Sends El Contrastico all kinds of topsy-turvy. Elkon trying to do something here. Oh, and Logan shouldn't have pursued him. Step up in Zagiri, draped over the middle rope. What a predicament. El Contrastico finds himself in. Christopher going to go over and deliver a forearm. Going for the 501. Can't get it. Yes, he can. Christopher using El Contrasco's legs like a battering ram to take out Logan and then delivering the massive chop right to the chest, lighting up the luchador. What a contest. This has been, ladies and gentlemen, right here on Intensity, the go-home show before Quest for Golden. Look, going for the same thing that he used to put D4's career in jeopardy, fracturing that C7 vertebrae. We still have not gotten a D4 return yet into the cover. Hopefully, El Contrasco is going to be all right. You see him grabbing at the neck, the back of the head area there. Logan continuing the work on the left leg of Christopher. The fans were getting behind El Contrasco after getting decimated by that apron power bomb. Logan looking, looking, yes! Has the submission locked in and it's cinched in tight. That shoe just won't stay on Christopher. Dex Witt was maybe trying to run some interference, but, you know, El Contrastico bringing Matt Mayhem out here to even the odds, and it looked like Elkon just handed a drink back to Matt. El Contrastico looked like he wanted in on that pin. 
El Contrastico has Christopher right where he wants him. Going for a pedigree. Isn't going to get it. Back body drop from the six foot five Christopher. And a big boot to boot. Christopher running the table on these fellas right now. Setting them up. Precarious position for these two. Double leg drop from the heathen king himself. El Contrasco like a fish out of water right now. Christopher Hook of the out. Side leg and a kick out. Looks like Logan tried to get there in time, but it didn't matter. Are you okay? Are you okay? Dex Witt looks on intently. El Contras goes back up to his feet. Christopher with a right hand. El Con with one in retort. Christopher, Irish whip, shoots him across. Double clothesline, each man taking him, his, uh, his opposition down there. And Logan Light, Logan Light, Springboard. Moonshot, Logan Light, the athleticism, but he gets caught. Breaking out a lion salt, the 250 pounder, maybe pound for pound, the most athletic individual on Action Wrestling Entertainment's roster right now. What a maneuver from Logan Light! My goodness, I'm in awe, and I'm sure he's in awe that El Contrasco got those knees up. El Contrasco forearm. Picking up Logan Light, forearm, and just raining rights down. Going for an end game is Logan. El Contrasco evades, clothesline in the corner. El Contrasco looks like it took everything out of him to get out of that end game right there. And a knee trigger. El Contrasco, his body twisting and contorting in a multitude of ways after that hammer-like knee struck him right in the chin. Could Logan Lye be looking for... Oh, he's got the leg lock applied. Perfect positioning. He has all the leverage, middle of the ring, and there's nothing Christopher can do but hope that El Contrastico can come and save him. Christopher trying to get to the ropes, trying to pull the 250 pounds. And you see El Contrastico there trying to help Christopher to get to the rope, pulling it closer. El Contrastico flippy kick. That rolling right foot taking out Logan Light. Going for a crossbody, maybe shouldn't have screamed it at Christopher. And Christopher was going for maybe a Thor's hammer there. Oh my goodness! High impact maneuver and Logan Light right back to the legs. Christopher got, got in that modified Hellraiser. El Contrastico is asleep, but so is the referee. And Dex going to take advantage here in his jeans. Dex kick to the midsection, double underhook, and a widow maker. El Con manages to get back up. But too preoccupied with Dex is El Contrastico. Christopher looking for Thor's hammer. El Contrastico gets the hand wrapped around and plants the Heathen King with a DDT. Patada de muerte from the luchador. And making sure he can't get to the rope. Logan tries but cannot get there in time. Ladies and gentlemen, El Contrastico is your winner. And he's going to take on Dalton Reign for his next level championship at Quest for Gold 3, only on the Patreon. This match had it all. 
Watch this lion salt from Logan breaking out something he's been working on for a very long time. And it was picture perfect, but so was that Widowmaker that ended up costing Logan Light the match. El Contrastico has been hit by that move a number of times. And now he finally has a counter for it, the Patata de Muerte. And you see the ring awareness there bringing in the arm. I'm taking. Huh? You see the camera switch? I like that. I'm taking Dalton Rain on a date, but I'm also taking his championship essay. I'm taking his championship. And do you know why? Because being perfecto isn't about winning uh, one time, whatever the hell he said. Okay. It's about, I'm looking at you now. Switch the cameras. It's about being perfecto. Every stinking dime. Did you step in between the ropes? Yeah. So, this was gonna happen. I'm gonna be perfect though, with an old man at Quest for Gold. And I'm gonna become a double campeon. It's in Spanish. Yeah. Double campeon. Do doble. Doble campeon. Oh That's right. At Quest for Gold, they say, you can. Ready? Yeah. 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 El Contrastico throwing in some Spanish, little bit of his native, his native language there. Matt Mayhem with a message for Dalton Rain and Logan Light. Looks like he is on the verge of breaking down. Logan Light saying Dex will get his. Still lost though. Go with the back, Dex. Christopher having no one to blame for that loss but himself. Of course, it's going to be El Contrastico taking on Dalton Rain in a champion versus champion contest. Ladies and gentlemen, Ghost, what a month he had going three and zero and becoming the number one contender for Tyler N's Intensity Championship. He's gonna be taking him on a quest for gold three. Just taking a look back at the month that Ghost had. You know, Ghost, for a long time this year, has not had a very good record. But this month, he managed to get back to 500. I believe he's sitting at nine and nine. He defeated El Contrastico in what was a barn burner of a match. He defeated Matt Mayhem in a matter of minutes and then when it really counted he went to the pit went into the pit I should say and he came out bloodied bruised beaten barely able to stand but he came out the number one contender for Tyler N's War, uh, intensity championship and if there's one man that we know can knock off Tyler in for that title, it's Ghost because we've seen him do it. We've seen him beat Tyler in in the Intensity Championship Tournament and then Tyler in turned around after, you know, in the loser's bracket after Archer had beaten Ghost and Tyler in got his revenge and made it to the finals to inevitably win the championship. Congratulations to Ghost and I look forward to the rubber match at Quest for Gold 3. Well, everyone, we have arrived at our main event and King Neon throwing it back with his theme song. You hear that? Kyle, you can't 
Kay's rule. King Neon is feeling on top of the world right now, as he should. He returned at the pit, knocked off Christopher, a pissed off Christopher, a dangerous Christopher. I am perfect. No, I'm just kidding. And then, I'm not, I'm not Atlas like And then King Neon defeated Nick Bo of all people in his second match. Of course, Nick Bo's still nursing those ribs. He he didn't take the time off necessary to heal them properly. But beating Nick Bo at all for anyone should be an accomplishment. King Neon knocked off Nick Bo. Then, then he defeated four other men in the golden ticket ladder match, but this man right here, Tyler N, the star of Intensity, the, the guy carrying the Intensity brand right now, and he has been since long way down. There are few men that can hold a candle to Tyler N when it comes to in-ring performance. I'm talking about guys that have been on the top for a while. Damian Kai, Cody Cole, D4, possibly this man King Neon. But man, as good as Archer Mosley has been, Archer has never been able to defeat Tyler End. I believe Archer is 0 and 3 against Tyler End. And that just speaks volumes about how damn good our intensity champion is. I mean, you saw he's ranked number 2. He's 9 and 2. And he does it the right way, and that's what I love about Tyler End. You know, a lot of people think that the intensity championship, you know, back when Nick Bo had it and 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 others before him that it was supposed to signify you know, the hardcore nature of intensity, but Tyler End has put a spin on things. He's shown that, hey, he can technically wrestle. He's technically proficient in between the ropes, and he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone in that way, or if they want to break out barbed wire, or if they want to break out thumbtacks, tables, ladders, chairs, it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. He can do that, too. And while this match is not for a championship, this is Tyler N's opportunity to hit double digit victories on the year. And this is King Neon's opportunity to continue to build momentum and head into Quest for Gold 3, that main event for the World Heavyweight Championship with an unblemished record of 4 and 0. Tyler End. This is a clash of styles here. Tyler End, a lot quicker, smaller competitor, and King Neon, the OG powerhouse of AWE. Last time we saw King Neon in action uh, was the Golden Ticket Ladder match, but before that in the qualifier, he fought Nick Bo, and those two men have a very similar style. So it's nice seeing this change of pace. Tyler in the quicker, more agile, striking-based uh, wrestler. And he can sprinkle in a little bit of hardcore and brawling in as well. But King Neon, he wants to get you off the mat, elevated, and slam you down. Look at the knee, though, by Tyler End. King Neon might not have been ready for that one. Tyler... Trying to get King Neon where he wants him to give him some more of that offense. But Neon ready with a right hand locked and loaded. And another one. And now Irish whip across the way. King Neon shoulder block missing. And you can hear King Neon is getting blown up already. He hasn't been back long enough to build up that stamina, that endurance that he had 
before he went away. But Tyler ends on top of his game right now. He's the intensity champion, ranked number two in the company, only behind Cody Cole, the world champion. But if King Neon, as he delivers a huge lariat to Tyler End, if King Neon can't overcome Tyler End here in this match, I'm doubtful that he will be able to knock off Cody Cole and Damian Kai in the same match. Because I would argue, you know, if if I were the one make, making the rankings just based off no skill way. alone, I think Damian Kai would probably be my number two as opposed to Tyler N. But you want to talk about skill? How about that slam? The inverted suplex dropping Tyler right on his face. King Neon sending the champion to the outside. Could be looking to get a little extreme here in our main event of intensity. We I, we haven't gotten any weapons yet. That ponytail. Goodness. King Neon looking for somewhere to throw Tyler. That wall should work. And now Neon looking for weapons. Whoa. Finds one. Steel chair. Okay. Done a lot of creative things with steel chairs in the past as King Neon. Tyler in still on the ground after hitting that wall. Alright. I'm here to serve you. I'm all for you. You're a good competitor. Alright, you can take a break. King Neon saying that Good. Tyler N can take a break. This might be a little healers. I, I, I don't know. I, oh. King Neon with a super kick. That's not how you Tyler N. Chair. Tyler N, you hear Timmy the cameraman saying that's not how you sit in a chair. And it's not. But I guess it is after you get super kicked. King Neon. Back to the olden days. You guys remember how oh, guys are going to use lighters. We stay safe. We stay safe. Remember when I used to do this, guys? If you, no. If you're new? No one does. If you're, if you're new, you can, you can go back and watch the old ones. Not yet! King Neon trying to set up a, a chair bridge with a chair. I think D4 remembers this. Uh, Timmy, does that seem King stable? Neon, nope. King Neon, referring back to that, uh, the original nope. Great yep. Clash Good. pay per view, uh, in which King Neon defended his championship, his world championship against D4, who had won the Great Clash Battle Royal, uh, and Cody Cole, who was filling in for Nick Alexander, who had mysteriously come up missing. We uh, ended up figuring out that it was Ghost. That had abducted Nick Alexander. Thankfully, we haven't seen Ghost do any more, you know, kidnapping or anything of that sort uh, since. King Neon, though. We know he wanted the Neon Bomb onto the steel chair. But Tyler Ann wanted to get the hell out of there, and he did just that. Tyler Ann. Just ramming the face, the skull of King Neon into the ring post. Now into the door. That door's been broken too many times. And last match. Oh, a big knee driving the cranium back into that metal door. That's what you call an ass whooping. And it's false count anywhere, mind you. King Neon just getting the shoulder up. Last match that we witnessed was a triple threat. It was El Contrastico, Christopher, and Logan. And that match was the complete opposite of this match. This match, these men are taking their time, delivering their strikes, delivering their their offense strategically. And last match, those three guys were putting caution, throwing caution to the wind and just, just hitting everything that they knew how to do and some stuff that I don't think they know how to do. And now King Neon... 
Oh. Both Woo. men missed. His hands are clean. King Neon with a big right hand. Rocking the world of Tyler in. Shooting the champion off. These two men going back at it and a spear. And it looks like King Neon damn near landed on his neck. King Neon wants one more spear to put the champion away. Tyler End doesn't look that dazed. King Neon charging it up. Spear from Tyler End. Held the turn table. We know both competitors in this match like to put their opponents away with a variation, their own style of spear. And you can comment down below who's looked prettier. Both men just connecting with their finishing, their signature maneuvers. Both men trying to make it back up to their feet. King Neon knew that if he could just plant Tyler with one more of those, it would be lights. About to get served, Tyler. Neon back to his feet first and a knee lift from the king. Now a super kick drops the champion. King Neon could be looking for a little bit of innovative offense here. Tyler trying to fight out. Well, King Neon taking a little bit too much time here. Coming around, looking for a rolling senton. He isn't going to get it. He took too long to set it up. Tyler in evades. Using that quickness, that agility to get out of harm's way, and now a stomp to the lower back, making it harder for King Neon to move those legs, get back to a vertical base. Tyler uh -oh. Let's go, isn't going to take as much time as Neon did. Flying forearm into the corner. Step up in Zagiri. From the Intensity Champion and Tyler is rolling now in our main event. Hook of the inside leg. King Neon just has enough to power out. Tyler has to be wondering what it's going to take to put down King Neon. Of course, these two have never met before. Tyler with a forearm, but Neon still on his feet. Tyler with a big kick. But Neon sits back up, and now it's going to take that much more time for Tyler to get to the cover, giving King Neon time to recover to get that right shoulder up. And now Neon... Moving around. Looks like that kick took more out of Tyler than it did out of King Neon, who got kicked in the face. What? Neon. Samoan drop. You're not Samoan. You know what I am. King Neon and Tyler and also both do Samoan drops. This is actually insane. They use the same... Uh, Preset move set on 2K. Neon could be looking for a neon bomb, but no, look at the power of Tyler and Samoan drop of his own and into the cover. Kick out from King Neon, and this match continues. What power it took from the Intensity Champion to get the 265-pounder up on his shoulders and get that running start for the Samoan drop. Tyler in. That's one of his biggest moves that he has in his bag. Of course, he's already hit one spear. Will he be able to hit another? 
King Neon back to his feet. Super kick rocks the number one contender for the world championship. Neon bringing that elbow through. Looks like he caught a little bit of that left arm. Uh -oh. Neon Do the thing. has Tyler right where he wants him. King Neon yeah, measuring. Yeah. Taking a little bit too much time it. here. Do it. Springs off the rope and a Got splash. Kick oh, out from kick Tyler out. End. What the heck? That's one you don't see very often from King Neon. Come on, man. It's your best move. I mean, yeah. King Neon literally wondering out loud, what am I going to have to do to put this guy away? Timmy the cameraman. Of course, he and King Neon have a long-standing relationship. They've been together for years here in AWE. Timmy the cameraman suggesting a Neon bomb, and I don't blame him. Can he get Tyler up? Tyler fighting back, fighting out. But Neon trying to do everything in his power to be able to set that up. And a knee lift sends Tyler right outside the ring. Careening onto the floor. Here at the war zone. King Neon now. The frustration starting to settle in. The instincts of Tyler Ann told him, hey, we're going to fall and we're going to fall out of the ring, out of harm's way for the time being, even though this is false count anywhere. Use it. King Neon picking up the steel chair. You, good citizen. I'll give you your tab later. And now... Steel meets skin in our main event. Neon with another chair shot. Oh, look like he almost threw it at the camera guy. And another chair shot. Champion is in a bad way right now. And if I'm Tyler in, I don't want to take too much damage in this match because... In a matter of days, he has to defend his intensity championship against Ghost at Quest for Gold 3. Only on the Patreon. Give it to that invisible guy with the jeans. And take a look at the aggression there from King Neon once again. A little replay action for you. Just all the chair shots. All of them. And the fans here at the War Zone. Getting behind the intensity champion. I'm just gonna see myself out. King Neon a little disappointed in Timmy, the cameraman, who is partaking in the Tyler in yeah. chance. I mean yeah. now Timmy feels conflicted of who to cheer for. Pop up spine Whoa. buster from the champion. Hook what? of the left yeah. leg what? and what? Oh. Oh. what's happening? Oh, man. Is Ghost coming oh, man. to ringside? Ghost isn't here, but a spear from King Neon takes Tyler off of his feet. And now Neon dragging Tyler to the middle of the ring, pulling him up. That's dead weight, and now a neon bomb to seal the deal. The intensity champion has fallen to King Neon. Couple replays from this match, that inverted suplex was gnarly. And then that plan backfired for King Neon. Tyler and King Neon exchanging spears. That spine buster right there, but it was ghost theme music to hit right about here. And distracted Tyler in. Ghost wouldn't come out. That spear right there followed by a massive 
Neon Bomb. The sit out power bomb from King Neon. Spelled the end for Tyler. End. And King Neon is going to head to Quest for Gold 3 at 4 and 0. And he's going to take on the two former members of Revelation Cody Cole, the world champion, and Damian Cott. So much is at stake. So much is on the line in that main event. You don't want to miss it. It's only going to be on the Patreon, so click the link in the description. Champion versus champion, of course, also going to be on the card. Intensity Championship will be defended. Ghost taking on Tyler End as well. And this just announced Christopher and Logan will square off one-on-one. -on -one. And the winner will be the next challenger for the next level championship. You know, first of all, I want to thank Ghost for our match at the pit. I feel like I was fulfilled and it was an honor to be part of that match. Ghost, you are the only person that has given me a challenge in this entire company. Everybody else is just poor, shitty pieces of talent. Waste. And a poor excuse to a wrestler. And you know, if Mr. St. Clair is never going to learn to feed me real talent, and he's just going to keep feeding me this shitty piece of mediocrity. Yo, what up, bitch? You know, you were here. It's cold outside. See, that's going. We love coffee. No. I heard you talking about Ozzy St. Clair Orange Juice the Third. No. Opponents. Last time I checked, I'm the best on the roster. But when you're down, you stare at a clown. And I'm down right now. And guess what? I'm staring at. Oh. Joe's problem now. <laughs> Mr. St. Clair, that is why we have nobody here. That is why everybody I go against I destroy. Because all of them are going to end up just like him. They're poor excuses of talent. And if you're not going to feed me the top tier, I'm just going to have to go take them myself. Well, yeah, okay. I, I thought this night was over, you know. After that fiasco with Tyler and the music, man, I, I don't know what happened there, but I thought it was over for the night. But uh, something just happened to me. I think it's a spur of a moment thing, you know. It's kind of it's a, another tale our little story we got going here, right? Let me show y'all something. This man right here. <laughs> Take a guess. Yeah. A championship? That? The intensity champion, Tyler N, thought he could come over here and attack me when I had my back turned. And I thought the night was over and I was going to go home, write a book. But here we are, tied up, 
blindfolded in the trunk of my car. Now, what are we gonna do about this, huh? Well, well, I mean, if he's still tied up and doesn't make it to the championship match at Quest for Gold, then he'd forfeit the championship, I believe. Hell, that'd make me, that'd make me champion. That'd be quite the sight, wouldn't it? But here's the thing, those are my terms. If he doesn't show up, the title's mine. But if you don't meet those terms, well, this guy right here, he's gonna pay with his flesh. Now, Time for me to go. Got yeah, one or two phone calls to make. Look, I don't want to be here, just like you don't want to be here. But we have been instructed to settle our beef so that we can we return here right at full stroke. You think that when we come back, there's going to be any we? You're not going to be part of the equation because you've ran our name, our brand into the ground no, this year. I haven't ran our name into the ground this year. Match of the show, match of the show, match of the show. I've done nothing. Yeah, but where has that got our brand and our name? No doubt. This entire come back, we're winning the world title. That's the only prerogative that we have. No. No, I'm taking care of Christopher. I'm taking care of Christopher as soon as I come back. I don't give a damn who's C7. He fractured. You should be thanking him. Because of him, I'm back. You're taking the back seat. I thought I told you to, to squash this and stop fighting.